When the Indians found out what Peter did, there was nothing they could do for him. This prize seems a very special gift. You all are here, Peter Pan. And your name shall be known around the world. This is your Indian name. Peter, the great white father. Wear it proudly. What do you think about that, Wendy? I'm an Indian now. Good chief soaring eagle. That's nice, Peter. Now I can get in bed and I'll tell a story. Yay! Yay! Once upon a time, there was a very happy family. There were two brothers, John and Michael, and their big sister, Wendy. They all live together in a big house. I don't think I like this story. The children that fly far away, they miss their mother and father. That's not right, they were happy. Mom and Dad must be worried sick about us. I miss Nana too. Oh Peter, I want to go home. But if you go, they'll make you grow up. I don't mind, everyone has to someday. But who will make sure we brush our teeth at night? It won't be long and you'll remember you yourself. Well, I don't care what you do, just go. Can we come with you, Wendy? Of course you can, Peter. You'll all be sorry. We'll make you grow up and you'll have to go to school. Really? Is it true? We can really go to school? Of course you can. See, Peter, it won't be so bad. Well, I won't go with you. I won't grow up. I won't. All right. Boys, go get your toothbrushes. If you won't come with me, let me give you your medicine one last time. I don't want my medicine. Leave it on the table over there. We're ready, Wendy. Yeah, I can't wait to go to school. Promise me you'll come to see me, see me again at the nursery window? I'm just a boy. I can't be expected to keep promises. Goodbye, Peter. Goodbye, Peter. Well, go on, all of you. I don't care. Just leave. I guess there's nothing left to do but just take my medicine. I'm so sorry I banished you. See, everybody's left and there's nothing left to do but take my medicine. Don't worry, Tinkerbell. Wendy left it for me. Tinkerbell, what happened? Captain Hook, he, he poisoned my medicine? Oh, Tinkerbell, you took it to save me. Is there anything I can do to help you? says that if all children believe in fairies, that you can get well again. Do you believe? If you believe, clap your hands.
and hand me your fruit. Not too jealous of Peter Pan. Never! Bring out the rest, mates. Nibs, Toodles, Curly, Harry, Terry, Michael, John. Stars 
for watching. Wendy went to her window. Good night, Peter Pan. Good night, Wendy. Check one time. Yeah, it's thinking like Mr. LeBlanc back there. One more time, a nice hand for all of these wonderful, beautiful actors. Wow, great job. Super, super, super. We are so excited. You guys were a wonderful audience, and we have so many people to thank. You know, the kids for all their focus. You can imagine um, the amount of time and effort and energy from them and just to be patient you learn so much working especially a large cast like this and the way we did this show all the patience that you have to have waiting for your other little moments and with a full grade level play they did such a wonderful time wonderful job and backstage they have an important role too they are sharing mics they are sharing costumes and they are stellar and professional back there and they know where to go and they beat at the bike table and we change them and they're ready to go and we're just so proud of their professionalism and their uh, their engagement and how focused they've been through this whole process so we do have we want to mention a few folks that went above and beyond with helping us out you know number one uh, mrs Ferlita for being my right hand person <laughs> Of the kids are doing all that back there. And then our third and fourth grade teachers, all the teachers with their assistance, we could not have done without them. Talented folks we have here. Mr. LeBlanc with our sound and lighting back there. Mr. LeBlanc, thank you. Uh, I heard about this. <laughs> I was born about this. So we can continue on. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Folks, we. Oh, got enough. Oh. Wow. Okay. Now I'm distracted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the teachers in the administration of the school um, for their help. Robert. Uh, what's Robert's last name? I was called Marquez. Our, our maintenance crew. Robert, very talented. Not only the setup of everything, Robert designed the ship. Mrs. Holman with her team of parents. Uh, uh, I'm going to mention a bunch of parents that went above and beyond helping in coming, coming in, but all the parents that helped out. Um, uh, Bonnie Bertolino, Bonnie Ethan, Catherine Garneau, Liz Gonzalez, Amy Hansen, Tash Tasha Madrid, Vanessa Minnick, Lori Maxari, Patty Moore, a bunch more Vulcan. Um, Stephanie Georgiatis. Oh, thank you, Stephanie Georgiatis. Um, and then there were some kids that even helped out painting some of the pictures. Ben and Hank Hansen, Isabella Moksari, Laura Moore. Really a huge team of people. So thank you so much. Give them all a round of applause. For you. Okay, and I know that our headmaster would love to say a few words. So I'm going to...